Well, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. We are in Skyrim. We've escaped Cold Harbor, and we are back in Tamriel. There's the Prophet, and we've been also given a quest by the Prophet. Here we go. A beginning at Bleak Rock. I've awoken on an island off the coast of Skyrim in a village called Bleak Rock. The outpost offers early warnings of attacks on the shore. Mithor, Mathor asked me to speak to Captain Rana, the packed commander station at Bleak Rock Island. I'll find her in the office of the central square. Okay, so there's Mathor. I don't think we actually need to talk to him. Where is our quest objective telling us to go? Downstairs for some reason. Alright, let's head downstairs really quickly. As you can tell, the aesthetic of this place that we're inside right now is very Nordic. So we are indeed in Skyrim. There's Captain Rana. Okay, I was about to head outside. Ooh, she's a dark elf. Maybe we could, you know... I'm an attractive looking dark elf. You're an attractive looking dark elf. Why don't we uh, make something happen? Maybe in the future. Okay, let's talk to her. I'm short on good help, and I could use someone capable. Someone like you. Oh, she thinks we're capable. That's right. All right, uh, you want to speak with me? You've seen combat, and I need all the help I can get today. Villagers are scattered across the island. We need to warn them. Warn them? Why? We sighted a ship offshore. I've sent my troops to investigate. If it's the vanguard of an invasion, well, we'll need to evacuate. Where should I start looking? You'll find the people of Bleak Rock all across the island. Darge, the hunter, went to Sky Shroud Barrow. Iman's out at Orkis Hollow with his sister, Rolanda. Sane, my sergeant, is out at Hosen's Folly. Okay, let's uh, really quickly go through. Friend. Oh, crap, I didn't mean to After start that. After you find Darge, keep looking. The more people you can send back here, the better off we'll be. Okay, so we could have chosen which one we wanted to do and I accidentally picked the first one. So let's take a look at our journal again. Um... Tasks. Find Darge. Okay, can we actually get more tasks from her? Let's see. Sky Shroud Barrows. I'll answer what um, I can. Captain Tilron Doesn't got look the like it. Okay, so are, do we have a new quest objective? We do. Let's go find Darge. Hopefully, it won't pose too much of a challenge. All right, look at that. Oh boy. Nordic style houses. Just uh, everything that looks like Nordic stuff. It looks like we're back in Skyrim. Just like in a Skyrim's hidden treasure. Awesome. Okay, so let's go find Darge now. So this is actually the open world, and I'm assuming you can just, you know, go explore as you would in an MMO. Um, but we're just going to continue on with the sort of main quest at the moment, just so we have some sense of direction. And uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. So let's go here. We've seemed to come across some place called a Deathclaw's Lair. I'm not sure if that's where we are right now, or if that's what... Oh, okay, so that's that uh, location in the distance there is that's what that's called a level one squirrel well it was a level one squirrel what does it have some guts bait for fishing interesting let's take that okay so let's take a look at our map now and uh, if we zoom out there we go and where do we need to go there's Darge so we'll head down this snow path although it looks like we could have taken a path out of town a butterfly that doesn't even have a level Are you joking kid mm. No, oh, I guess we can't kill it. Can we take it, though, at least? Yeah, we can, just like in Skyrim. Gotcha. Insect parts, bait for fishing. Okay. So I'm guessing Darge is going to be right over here. I'm not sure what the black quest marker indicates. I guess that's maybe just something that you could be doing simultaneously. Regardless, let's talk to Hawknear. Curse that death claw. Ate my foot. I had to use my boot and some leather as a tourniquet. Damn it. All right, no need to curse, buddy. What happened? I've been tracking the beast for weeks. I call him Deathclaw. I finally caught up to him, but it... Well, it went badly. What is this, Fallout 3? If I can find him, I'll get him for you. Now there's a plan. If you bag him, I'll toss you some coin for your trouble. As I made my escape, some stuff fell out of my pack. You should be able to follow what I dropped, like a trail back to his lair. Interesting. Side quest. Okay, I'll track him down, Hawk here. Follow the trail I left when I made my escape. You'll know his lair by the bones, blood, and smell. Tempt him with some game, and I bet you'll get his attention. Why have you been tracking this I've beast? I've been hunting beasts in the wild of Skydream all my life. Deathclaw ravaged a couple of herds near Kynesgrove. I took on a contract. Oh to my him. god. I always fulfill my contracts. I'm a dummy. This is freaking Solstheim. Yeah. This is actually Solstheim because he just said Kynesgrove. And I was thinking. I mean, I, I hope I'm not wrong because I always think I, that I know stuff and then I'm not actually thinking because I'm focused on the let's play and the commentary. And then people in the comments are like, no, no, no. But, but he just said Kynesgrove. And this is also an island off the coast of Skyrim. I'm assuming this is. 
I'm assuming this is Soul Slime, and this game takes place way before, you know, Skyrim does, the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, so it would make sense that it's not actually, no one's, you know, referred to it as Soul Slime yet. I don't know. Interesting. Okay. Let's go to look at our quests. Can we, like, okay, let's, let's can we make this our active quest? Because I want to do this right now. Is that our active quest now? Let's take a look at our map and see what this says. Find Darge. Collect death claw talent. Okay, but we've been given. All right. So okay, cool. So the black things I'm thinking are side quests or just other missions you can start. And the white one is, I guess, your current quest or the main quest. Let's kill this wolf, though. <laughs> Stupid wolf. Okay. And I'm, can, can I not loot you? Weird. All right. Um, I don't think we can. Wait, is that an entrance to something? I thought I saw text, Death Claws, no, that's just telling me that's what it is in the distance. Okay, let's go find ourselves this Death Claw, which I forget what he said what it was. Was it a wolf or something? I'm assuming it's a wolf. I'm not sure, I wasn't really paying attention, I guess. Oh well, anyways, let's hopefully find it. Yeah, there's a wolf, so I'm going to assume that it is actually another wolf. And stab. There we go. That skill obviously does damage. Increase damage to low health enemies. Okay, so what are we supposed to do here? Examine this. It's critter meat. This meat looks foul, but its rank odor should attract a ravenous beast like Deathclaw. Okay, so I guess we have to get some of this meat. Or I guess we already did. Bone pile! My god, man! How many things has this thing killed? Let's use this, which is what? Lure Deathclaw with critter meat. Follow Hawkneer's things to the lair. Oh, there's Deathclaw! Okay, and you're some flying gargoyle horrible thing out of a nightmare. Jesus Christ! Okay, no, no, no. Alright, let's just stab this thing as much as possible. Not sure if it would be wise to uh, wait till this thing is at lower health. What are you doing, bro? This is my Deathclaw. Get your own Deathclaw. This guy's level 6. No, what, what, what's going on here? It uh, got full health. You following me? Okay, I guess we can use this guy's help. Hopefully I can get the last hit, though. With my uh, ability... <laughs> gotcha! Yeah. Sip of stamina. No, I'm gonna take all of it. Don't even try. I'm not sure if the loot shares or whatever, but uh, regardless... No! Ah, oh, this jerk. Okay, can we... Uh, I guess we can unlock it as he's doing it. Alright, buddy, hurry up. Come on. I want to see how the, um, the lock-picking mechanic works in this game, because this is actually our first locked chest. Or I'm not sure if once he takes it, it's going to disappear or say that it's empty. But uh, regardless, we can hold F to interact with people, by the way, and you can do all these things that you would be able to do in an MMO. Oh, and the thing disappeared. I hate you. I'm going to slash you. No, it's not going to hurt you. And now I'm going to leave. All right, so we uh, we killed Deathclaw. And, uh, and now I guess we can go back and turn in that quest really quickly and see what we can get. Hopefully it's not just gold. Hopefully it's some nice piece of equipment or something. That would be really cool. I think I'm going to concurrently increase my stamina. Level 4. I think I'm going to currently concurrently increase my stamina with health because I like to be able to sprint long distances. Alright, buddy. Guess what? I think you're going to like what the news that I have. I'm going to have to head back to town soon, my friend. Lost a lot of blood. How goes the hunt? I've killed him, Hawknear. A hunter with the heart of Iskramor. Here's the coin I promised. I'll sing your praises next time I see the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 28 gold. That's not that big of a deal, but uh, I guess you're welcome. Okay. Um. So cool. First side quest of the game. Interesting. And a unique monster. I'm not sure if that's a you know a beast type that we'll find often. But my God, that thing was terrifying. Let's go find Darge though, along with the main quest. Sleep with the fishes. Look at that. This person named their Argonian an actual Argonian-like name. Good for you. Sleep with the fishes. That's cool. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Darge the Hunter. There you are. Can you use that weapon, friend? I need your help. Just tell me what's going on. Uh, there's a necromancer here, but I can't find him. He must be in the catacombs beneath the shrine. That's the only place that makes sense. Wow, we're getting like double the gold for completing this quest that we didn't even have to do anything for. Okay, complete the quest. Something has to be done about these undead. How can I help? The dead walk at Sky Shroud. There's an evil power radiating from within the shrine, but the door is locked. In the Skald's tales, every dragon shrine had a priest. Oh my god. If we could speak, this is so Sky cool. Shroud's priest, he could tell us how to get in. Sorry, I'm like nerdgasming. He's referencing the Skald's, so this is indeed, um, 
Soul Slime. And I know a lot of you probably already knew that for those of you that have been looking into this game. But when I approach a game, I generally like to keep as much of the details as secret as possible. So when I play it, everything is like completely new to me. That's why I didn't know that this was going to be Soul Slime. But that is so cool. Okay, uh, speak to Spirit, you mean? If Shaw is willing, yes. I brought a bag of incense to burn as an offering. The Bone Men got me before I could try the ritual. Bone men, huh? You might have better luck. What do you say? Give me the bag. I'll see what I can do. I hope you have better luck at the shrine than I did. Watch yourself in there. Okay, and we'll just go through this. Some folks out. To see, uh, whoa, oh, we've leveled up to level three, and also our assassination level increased, so I think we'll be able to put up another skill as well. Okay, let's put one into health. Um, I think, you know, I probably could have put it into stamina, but I'm just gonna put it on health for now and then we'll go into our skills and now we can do teleport strike oh that sounds badass player moves through the shadows appearing next to the target deals 25 magic damage to enemies and stuns monsters for 1.5 seconds interesting definitely want that yeah and we still have one more skill point can we put up assassins oh okay so you only put them up once and then they level by themselves i understand and i'm gonna save that other skill point can i put let's see what happens if we put up uh can we actually do this? Two hit attacks for blah blah blah. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with the dual axes, so for now, I'm going to hold off on that skill point. And uh, yeah, okay, so let's see what our quest here. What waits beneath? Blah blah. I caught up with Darge near Sky Shroud Barrow. Skeletons attack the moon before you can find a way to get its door open. Darge believes the ancient dragon priest that once tended this shrine might be able to tell us how to get inside it. I should use the shrine to summon his spirit. So we're actually going to be talking to an, a dragon priest, which we've killed many of in Skyrim. Interesting. Oh my god, this is all just way better than I expected, ladies and gentlemen. You have to understand. I know a lot of you have already been through all this stuff or seen it, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and steal this kill real quick. Don't mind me. Okay. <laughs> um, Alright, let's sheep that. And I really want to use this second ability here, so let's go ahead. Oh, look at that. We teleport right to him. Interesting. Oh, look at this. He tried to steal it back. No, did not work. All right, let's take all that crap. And uh, let's teleport to this guy as well. Boom! Oh, my God. I love that. Man. And, yeah, so we get to steal all the kills, basically. Not sure if that has a benefit or not, but we get to steal the kills with our uh, special one move. All right, so let's sheet that again. And, uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and go to the shrine while bypassing all these stupid skeletons that are not going to give us a lot of experience. Anyway, what's up, Skeletal Archer? Alright, Lady Snatus. I see you're doing what I'm doing. Okay, buddy. Let's go ahead and teleport to you. And boom! And see you later, alligator. You can finish him off. Alright, um, let's use this brazier. Or brazier, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'm sure you guys will tell me, though. Okay, complete summon whatever, talk to the Dragon Priest, Haldren. Oh my god, did we kill this guy? I, I don't remember, but if we did, that's that's very cool. If we killed this guy in Skyrim and Dragonborn or in... I think I think we did kill him in Dragonborn. Let's talk to him. Maggot, you dare summon me? Oh, and he's a jerk too, so I do, I do hope my ancestor killed you, you jerk. Well, actually, I never played as a dark elf in Skyrim, so it wouldn't be my ancestor. ancestor. But you guys know what I mean. I need your help, Spirit. How can I enter the barrow? Can you comprehend the power I once had? Why should I help you with anything? I can comprehend it. I actually have one of your masks, I believe. Someone has desecrated your shrine. Yes, I can sense them. Some worm defiled this place. You are now my will incarnate, mortal. Enter the barrow and kill this worm. Dude, you're a spirit. You can't do anything to me. If anything, you're under my control. I will. How can I enter the barrow? You need to ask. But once everyone knew the ritual, three rune stones unlock the door. They're placed in prominent positions around the shrine. Find them and put them on their pedestals around the door. Then you'll gain entrance. Now go. Okay, yeah. Um. Um. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, glitching out on me at the moment. It's like still stuck in the conversation screen, but I can't move or do anything. So, let's try logging out. Actually, I don't want to show you guys all my login information, so uh, I'll cut back, hopefully, in a second. Alright guys, welcome back. That was kind of weird. It just sort of bugged me out, but here we are. We're back in, and now we need to collect the whale, the snake, and the eagle runestone. And if you remember, ladies and gentlemen, that's stuff that is commonly seen in Daedric, not Daedric, in uh, Skyrim Burrows and such, like the puzzles. So cool! 
already a whole bunch of sort of references to Skyrim, which was obviously the most recent Elder Scrolls game, I guess. Maybe what they were trying to do here was, like, drop you into a point where, um, there's a lot of stuff that is familiar to the player, you know, because a lot of people probably have not played Oblivion or Morrowind or previous games. I don't know. That's just my take on it. Okay, so we have, like, three directions. Let's go this way first. I think this might be the... Actually, that's probably the, one of those things is probably the closest. Actually, yeah, this one. I'm assuming that one's going to be up there on that plateau, though, so we're going to go over here and get this one first. Alright, so what happened to that guy? I'm assuming, okay, this guy happened to that guy, and he has a scamp. I'm not sure exactly how these people are having these scamp pets in Cold Harbor, I think. Maybe they pre-ordered it, pre -ordered it first. And by the way, I will be pre-ordering and uh, getting pretty much every bonus. I'm not sure if I remember, if I uh, mentioned this before. Golding Eagle Talons, interesting. So I guess that's like the guy that's guarding this. We're gonna go ahead and take that. And uh, good thing there's one for everyone, it seems like. Anyways, what I was saying was I'm going to go ahead and pre-order the Imperial Edition, which is, you know, like the most expensive edition you can get. Apparently, you can get the digital copy right now. You can pre-order the digital copies of both, or you can uh, just wait for the actual physical copy, and it's going to have, like, you know, an art book and a statue and the stuff that it usually comes with. And I'm not big on those. Like, never do I buy that stuff usually. However, for this game, since it's going to be so big on my channel, I'm just, oh my god, this game is, like, making me really excited for it already. Yeah, I'll be purchasing, like, the most expensive variation that you can get. Okay, so let's take the snake, runestone, and, uh, I'm not sure if there's something that's supposed to be guarding it or if these people, like, already killed it so we don't have to fight it or not. Either way, mm, I'll go ahead and take that kill. Yeah, let's go ahead and press Z. I don't. I guess not a lot of people are playing Nightblades because I've only really been seeing like warriors, either the dragon, whatever, or the uh, the other one, the Templar, or uh, or mages. So I don't know. Maybe I just haven't been noticing Nightblades a lot. Who knows? I guess rogues really aren't the most popular class when it comes to MMOs. But, uh, that's the thing for me. Alright, so our final rune stone is the whale rune stone. Let's go ahead and grab that. Boom! And now we need to place all three, and that's going to give us access to... What? I'm forgetting the name of this barrow at the moment. What is this? Anything? Or is this just a candle? Potency rune. Collect. Okay. What? What in the world is going on? That was weird. I just played some, like, weird sound... I'm not... I was gonna try and collect it again, but I'm not... Okay, bye rabbit. Sorry. Go ahead and take your guts. Yum. And then, uh, Z sheath. And which way do we need to go to go into this barrel now? What's up, skeletons? Um, I'm guessing not that way. Alright, let's kill these guys really quickly. Stabby, 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 stabby. Stabby, yeah. And then uh, we're gonna use our second move on that, which is really cool. Oh, I love that ability. Alright. And see you later. Alright. What do you guys have? Two gold. Wow. And we can't loot that one. For some reason, like, we can't loot certain skeletons. It's weird. All right, let's head to that barrel really quickly. So just to let you guys know what's going on, this is part of the, uh, the beta weekend. And I'm trying to juggle all this stuff along with my classes, so I can't make as many videos as I would like to. But this is the second day out of the three days. I have one more day, you know, tomorrow, Sunday, to record videos. And I'm going to see how far I can get. But I'm trying to get a lot of videos up for you guys. And then, you know... The actual game's release is less than a month away, or it might be a little more than a month. I'm not exactly sure. What are you doing over here, buddy? Ooh, a Sky Shard. Interesting. I'm not sure if Sky Shards are in, like, actual specific locations. But, uh, there we go. We have two out of three. If we find one more, we get a bonus little skill point. So, interesting. Okay, so let's place this. There we go. Let's place this. And look, even is the same design as from Skyrim. Cool. And let's place this. Enter Sky Shroud Barrow, and we will in the next episode. Thanks for watching this one, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Grovan, and as always, I hope you all have a great day. Bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed watching that video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. Also, if you'd like to subscribe and or watch a video that's probably going to be related to the one that you just watched, you can click the annotations on the screen. Finally, if you want to help me grow my channel, you can also share this video on Facebook and Twitter by clicking share below the video. Regardless, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.